This is the Zero to Hero series. We've put aside our completely stacked account and we're exchanging it for a free to play account. We're starting from nothing in the hopes to finally hit God. If you're a new player, this series is going to teach you everything. Team building, crystal management, equip farming, pay attention. This is going to be a journey. Welcome back to the channel, 23 here, and it is day five. You guys are really loving the Zero to Hero, so we're going to keep pushing them out for you. Now, this episode is coming out a bit sooner than it should have. Really, it should have dropped tomorrow. But today is April Fool's. There's a lot to do in the game. And I don't have too much crystal. Don't worry. I will be farming that soon. But today, I really want to go over reading your opponent. So, on my other Legends account, I have 12 God Ranks. But technically, it's 13 because the first god rank doesn't give you the number. So it's, let's just say 12, right? So I've kind of got a decent idea of when it comes to playing PvP. Obviously, when I'm playing on this account, sometimes my plays aren't perfect because there is so much randomness when you're playing people like with new accounts like this and playing people that don't know how to play. As you get, you know, a bit more advanced, there's a certain way people play and you expect them to like play a certain way but regardless that's not going to matter today you guys are going to get some more information on pvp mastery reading your opponent it's going to be great stay tuned for it but look we're back we've got the beginner login bonus goku it's always nice seeing goku you know like he's always smiling and stuff hey give me something what you got for me bro so we have got more tickets we love our tickets Got some more Z power for this Ultra Goku. We might actually try running him at some point and see how it does. Probably not for this video though, because the team I'm running right now just works. It's the green, green, yellow. If you didn't see the last episode, we did manage to pull Parasite Trunks. No baby, but Parasite Trunks is still a good pull for us, considering he's a hybrid. We've got Gohan on the team. We've also got Gogeta, so GT, hybrids, it all works. Like, everything's kind of coming together. Now, I've had some people kind of ask how we're going to get to God rank. Basically, right now, the goal is to fill out the box. We fill out the box as well as we can. That way, when we finally hit a banner that is just really nice to us, we pull multiple copies of certain units and we can somewhat build a very competent team from there we just build from there we go all in we invest in that one tag right now we're a bit all over the place we've got a bit of gt we've got a bit of sagas we've got some hybrids you know we're not 100 percent sure with what we're going with so we're still trying to remain flexible i don't want to go all in on a tag right now and find out that oh this next banner is gonna provide me with so many more copies of a different tag so we're just, you know, we're testing the waters, we're building the account, we're grinding CC. It's okay to summon from time to time. Now we have got the spin. For the love of God, do not give me eight. I am tired of getting eight. We've received eight three times. Stop it. Stop giving it to me. I've had enough. Anything but eight. Just anything. Come on. Don't you freaking dare. Oh my gosh, this, I'm getting scammed. Something's got to be up. Do you know, like, when you really do the maths, the odds of me getting eight three times in a row is actually so much lower than you actually think. It's ridiculous. I don't know what's going on. Toshi, I will find you. But, you know, we'll get over it. We'll take the energy. We'll run it back tomorrow. But this is not good. So, like I did say, it is April Fools. So we have got a cutscene, right? We've got the farmer here and Raditz. Now, I'm not gonna go ahead and read all of this because that's just long. 
<laughs> but it's nice to know that we've got a free to play unit. I think we've got two to be fair. And this will technically be our first 14 star unit. I'm sure if we grind through all the missions, we will be able to gain him at 14 stars. Uh, I believe we do get the farmer and we do get Raditz. And it's quite nice of Legends to actually make a whole new player model. Like they've designed his model just separately for him, which is nice. Although Raditz is the same, but that's good. They're looking out for us. Legends ranking ended. Okay. Got 100 CC there. Once I finish grinding this, we're going to get the key. We'll get a ton of Z power, as you can see. Uh, we will also get a load of crystal. Let me just pull up the mission here. Where is it? Special. We'll get a load of crystal from here. There's one, two, three, four, five hundred crystal there. So by the time I've done that, oh, and there's some Z power. This could be saved for I'll go GR. Not sure yet. But like I said, the main goal for this episode is going to be more PvP based. We're going to kind of just break down how to read your opponent. But before we get into that, you know, we've got to hit our summon. You never know who we pull. It could be an upgrade for the team. It could be another, I don't know, filler is what it is we'll see it isn't sparking guaranteed though come on hit me with something oh dragon balls dragon balls is great vibes you know i'm gonna sit back and i know that i'm probably gonna get a sparking unit so we can take that deep breath of relief get freezer out of here what you got for me Hmm. Okay. Just waiting for the sparking, you know. Anytime you can just drop now, right? Right. Okay, there we go. Ooh, Bardock. Funny enough, this Bardock actually used to be a madman. Last man standing. Unstoppable. Welcome to the team. Well, welcome to the box anyway. I don't think you make it to the team. But it's great. Still picking up new units. Slow and steady wins the race. But we will head into PvP. And I'll break down what kind of goes through my head as I'm making my plays. And how you can potentially, you know, get that one up on your opponent. And hopefully you guys can pick up some tips from it. Okay. First match, it looks like we have got a golden freezer. He is an ultra. We have got two greens which could be an issue but that's why we've got the yellow green green yellow it works uh if he brings a blue that will help us out a bit but i don't think we'll have an issue because i'm just better i don't, I don't even want to sound like a prick but i'm probably better um he has got equips as well so he is much further than me in terms of team but if you look at our ability bonus because of the way I've built my team, we're getting pretty much the same amount of output in terms of like buffs because we built our team correctly. He has it. Let's head into the game. Okay, Gohan will be the main man for this. We always initiate by backing up. It's always the correct way to go about it. Uh, I see him waiting around. So in a situation like that, I kind of just feel like my opponent, see if he wants to go for anything. If he doesn't, I'll go for a quick attack. Okay, he does go for a blast immediately. So, originally I was being a bit, you know, patient with it. But it seems like he went immediately this time. And I wasn't, like, ready for that. Because his last play was kind of just sitting around. So now we know he's going for attacks. Oh. He overextended there. He's locked in. Fair enough. So that, that freezer is kind of annoying. We'll catch him there. He is still locked in. So Gohan, when he pops main, like when he first transforms, you're actually locking your opponent for a couple of counts. 
I'm gonna switch out here because I haven't got a vanish. Always use your units on your bench as kind of like a second vanish. Use your main for time stops. Super important. I'm actually gonna drop the combo here. There we go. Now drop combos. You kind of just need to do them when you feel like your opponent needs to switch out. In a situation like that, he probably would have lost the unit. So I kind of predicted he'll switch out. Gogeta with the type neutral ult. So we actually did get quite a bit of damage off there. He's shooting tap blasts at me. So of course I'm going to turn around and hit you with the, with the good old blast card. Yeah, I'm actually going to cancel my side step. Okay. He jumps. You know what? I'm actually going to lock him in here. So, if you remember, I increased sub count. How? He cancelled that? So, I was expecting the sub counts to be increased, so he wouldn't have been able to switch out. Someone on the team is probably cancelling that. I'm not sure who. You are going to go quick here, though. There comes some blast. Fair enough. I didn't have a card to counter that. I'm going to pop green here. Vanish. Oh, that tap. He does tap back. He hasn't got Vanish, though. Going to go for the blue. Go for another blue. Kind of stalling there. I want to rush the guy, but he's got endurance. I'd rather get rid of the unit. He jumps when I switch out, so I know now. When I switch out, he's probably going to jump. Pop the main. Interesting. Back again, I say. He actually might go for the rush here. Okay, we well, can do that. Fair play. We're going to take a lot here. We do cover in on strikes, though. Trunks with the save. Go immediately. We're actually going to rush. He'll probably switch out. I know he doesn't want to. Oh, he doesn't. I thought he would forget he has endurance. Or he probably just doesn't want to lose the first life. Which is fine. He doesn't guess me. Although, now we've got to deal with Freeze's comeback. Ultras are just super strong. It's just something you got to deal with. Is he like one shot? Yeah, I thought. Jump for me. Perfect. Taps. I couldn't switch out into Gohan just in time yet. Okay. He didn't jump that time, but he kind of waited. Go immediately. Catch him off guard. So really, you're just kind of looking at what your opponent's doing. If your opponent tends to jump a lot, just wait for him. Let him jump. If he goes immediately a lot, see how he's just always jumping? I use that patience there. Increase my sub count. Um, cost card count. I might go for the tap here. Look. And we go. We just keep going. Jump. See, he jumps a lot. And I'm just taking advantage of that. Reading your opponent is so important. And this game is kind of like a chess game. Whoever reads their opponent first kind of wins. Keep going, Gohan. Don't get key back on entry. He's just going to keep increasing my blast arts cost. Annoying. Going to go immediately here again. Yep. So yeah, although he has an ultra, we're just better. We're heading to the next game. So, it was April Fools, and you know what that means. We've gone ahead and grabbed ourselves our first 14 star unit. This is huge. Like, the amount this is going to boost the account is crazy because this unit is actually good. Also, before we head into a PvP game with this guy, Look how many damn missions I've completed. If your missions box isn't looking like this every day, are you really grinding? With a free to play account, you need to be taking advantage of events. Like a lot of those missions have literally just come from me grinding the raid boss. Now, this is a different day because I had to record different parts at different times. But 
Today is Goku. I'm recording like the second half of this video on a different day, but forget that. Look at the raid rewards. You can pick up a ton of these hats. There's some removers, but look in the exchange shop, Legends Limited Z Power, Crystal, Removers. We are gonna grind as many of these removers as we possibly can. But look, I'm gonna head into a game with our 14 star unit. I don't know who to replace. I think I'm just gonna throw him leader slot for now. We're kinda gonna have to drop Goji, y'all. As much as I don't want to, but this is kinda my best unit right now. We haven't got any equips from him. We can throw that on. But we're gonna head into a game of PVP with our new 14 star unit. This is big. And his damage output is probably gonna be so much better than everyone else. Okay, so this guy's team is like unbalanced. We're gonna lead with Raditz. And hope to God we can pull something off. Okay. I've just gotta remember Vegito Blue will remove my vanish the second he like comes in. So I've gotta be aware of that. Some good damage from Raditz though. Really good damage from Reddit. Okay, he switched out. I've got to be super careful, man. This guy's team's really good. Okay. I don't think he's going to initiate. There we go. You see what I mean about timing? Timing is so freaking important. Just watching your opponent, seeing what they're doing. I see he's jumping a lot. I'm actually going to drop here. Okay, he switches out. I'm gonna go into Raditz, throw this blue. Let's watch your opponent, see what he's doing. Try to feel him out. I don't know if he's gonna get to jumping again. There we go. We catch him again, I'm gonna drop. He doesn't switch out, I don't know why. Okay, I expected Vegito Blue to come in there. I've got my Vanish back. He probably doesn't have a clue in the world. Vegito got rid of my Vanish. I'm actually going to lock in Vegito here. And we are going to rush him. This is like my biggest threat. We need as much damage as possible. So I'm going to not pick the blue card. If you didn't know, the blue card does give you more damage if it's in your hand. So if you need more damage, just don't pick it. Now, being colored disadvantage, I don't even think we've got enough damage to kill him. Nope. That was literally pathetic. Which is... Okay, I swiped. This is fine, I guess. The Cheeto is just insane, man. The okay, Raditz is taking the hit a bit better. Okay, we live. And a bit of health back there. Get the PV. Okay, we good. Go ahead and pick yourself up this Raditz. Now. Before it's too late. Hopefully we don't see Shallot. I'm actually going to go for the ult here. Yeah, I, I don't know what it was. I felt like he was going to attack or switch out. It lands though. This should be do. Oh my god. It did do some good damage. We're going to switch out because we haven't got the vanish. I'm going to pop this for some health. Oh, he's got the farmer outfit. It's kind of clean. Trunk should be able to kill him here. On nice. Okay, he doesn't jump again. He switched it up. I see, and he caught me off guard because of that. We're actually just gonna let Gohan go, just in case he rushes me out of nowhere. He's got a grain. I knew it. I knew he had a grain. I should have just played it better. And I knew it because he was just standing there. And that's what Vegito Blue just do. When they've got a green card, they will stand there and stare at you, bro. I really can't afford to lose priority here. There we go. I think we secure the kill here. We've got enough damage. So we're just going to switch out onto Parasite Chunks. Because I know he's just going to get more cards. 
There we go. Damn, that was a tough one, but we prevailed. Okay. It seems like we've got a pretty simple team to take down. Okay, he is bringing his ultra free to play Goku. Hmm. I'm trying to read him. Yeah, we did get him there though. He hasn't got a blast cover change, so we will initiate with the blast. He goes into Broly. That is good. We are now free to use our strikes. No more key. I don't want to lock in this Broly. I think I want to lock in his freezer though. Actually, that's Cap. No, I missed it. I should have locked him. I should have locked him in and just destroyed him with Parasite Trunks. We good though. His red unit is locked in now though. So he, he dies here. Sorry. <laughs> Why am I apologizing? To this guy? I, I want him to lose. Let's see what Raditz has got though. Do hit him with the PV. This is to his blue unit. This is some good damage, actually. We're going to go for the ult. We'll pop one more blast card here. I don't know if he's going to go into Freezer. So, he doesn't. This is better to not use the strat card in a situation like that. It's good damage. Can we snipe him here? What's he waiting for? Okay, I'm going to go for taps here. Now we're gonna vanish. Oh no, nope, doesn't go for anything. We're actually gonna switch it to trunks. Pop the blue. Gonna pop the main. Is he doing anything? No, he has got his ult though. I don't know if he's gonna go immediately after that. So I'm actually going to. Yeah, that was the correct play. We did drop the ult. Oh my goodness. Rad it. Hold on. Okay, that's GG's. If you made it to the end of the video, I do appreciate you. If you gained any value, please drop a like and subscribe. Once again, I do stream on Twitch. Link will be down in the description. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah!